guys, Saturday morning. Ross is going to go. It's time for me to get up and showered. <laughs> because like, you're not supposed to be able to kill succulents and I literally don't even know how long it's been up there dead for. Oh my god, it's maybe it's giving me goosebumps talking about it. It's really scary, like, I don't know what it is, but this, the dead succulent, it's honestly, I've got goosebumps, it's making me feel ill, it's like making me go like this and my fingers and my toes are curling. Oh, and I said to Ross, I was like, I don't like it, I'm a bit scared of this succulent. I was like, I think you need to get rid of it, and he's like, I think I'm a bit scared of it. I don't care. It'd be fine if I just get rid of the pot. Well, no, I want to keep the pot. It's a nice pot. Anyway, I'm just finishing my bacon sandwich and then, even though I don't want to look at it, I'll show you the scary dead succulent. I think the succulents are against us. I just picked up the other one because I thought, oh, well, maybe that one needs water in. And it's just, very, it's just spat water all over me. Like brown water. It's all like down here. Right, okay, I don't, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to film the dead succulent. We feel like there's something in the room watching us. Look, this is the dead succulent. Oh, oh, oh it's literally like. Oh, it's making my skin crawl. Let's get it done. Are you gonna get rid of it? Watch out, the the horse on floor. Right, we're gonna get rid of the dead succulent. We've just been sat there like trying to decide what we're doing today, and Ross is just like, oh, I can't think about anything apart from that plant. Oh, I don't want to pick it up. Why have I got to pass it to you? Whoa. Did I drown them? Oh, I think I overwatered it. Oh. That was easy enough. Let me see. Oh, I wanted to see. It was in a little brown pot. Oh, was it? Yeah, that was well easy. Done. I thought we were going to come downstairs tomorrow morning and like the succulents have taken over and that one's going to be there waiting for us. But um, I've just I just picked up the other one, and I, I actually think I've overwatered them because um, basically there's just loads of water that I just poured out of the pot. I just realised we haven't explained Ross's face. You actually look better. Yeah. Like your bruise has gone. This is a carpet burn. So he tripped on his new Ugg slippers and fell headfirst down the stairs, and his face stopped him obviously. Hasn't put me off wearing them though. Good. Star Wars nightmare ends today. Nightmare. <laughs> no, it's not really a nightmare. I'm just winding you up. But um, we've watched all of the films now on DVD and we are just about to go out and watch the last one at the cinema, which this one's quite excited about. What's above my head? Just a bit black fluff. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to Salisbury and we've got our tickets for the cinema. We like the cinema at Salisbury, don't we? It's like old school, like it's like an old theatre, isn't it, or something like that. So yeah, we're gonna go do that, have a little wander around. It's not raining at the moment, so fingers crossed. Right, we've just got to Salisbury and I'm just going to get the tickets for the car. Ooh, it's actually really cold, isn't it? But it's cold. Look at how cool the cinema is in Salisbury. I've got to put my camera away now. We'll report back afterwards. Okay, so it was amazing. It was actually really, really good. It was definitely the best Star Wars film that I've watched. You enjoyed it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was good, yeah. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Like, it is a long film, but it's like we were saying actually with um, Sniffy and Mel when they've seen it. It's long, but you don't actually notice it's long, do you? Like, I actually think by the end, you're kind of like, you want it to keep going because you yeah. still want to find out a little yeah, bit more, want, like, about what's I going on. I watch that for another two hours. <laughs> um, but it's, like, completely set up for the next one now. Apparently there's, like, seven more that Disney assigned for, so, yeah, it's, like, definitely, like, ready for the next film to start at the end of this one. 
and Russ bought himself a new jacket. This seems to be a theme actually. He bought himself a, a new jacket like pretty much last time that we went out. Yeah. Like that is definitely your like Achilles heel, isn't it? The jacket. Yeah, jacket. Yeah. It's like that is your thing. Jacket. Jackets and, and shoes, kind of. Oh, not but you really. know, I like you, looking at them. You get like a bee in your bonnet about shoes. Like all of a sudden you'll want like a new pair of shoes. I don't need any trainers though for a while. No, I know you don't. Anyway. We are on our way home now. What is the time? It's like five o'clock. I've always got mascara under my eye just here. What do I do? To get mascara there. What, what are you doing? Drink. What are we having for dinner? Soup and cheese toasties. <laughs> it was worth the wait, wasn't it? important urgent emergency trip out into the rain um for butter because we on the way home from the cinema we stopped and bought ingredients to bake cookies this evening forgot butter which is literally like key ingredient so annoying so we're gonna go out and get that now look at this horrific weather this is my um scruffy piece of paper that um has all the instructions on and the ingredients but it's the best cookies ever you can screenshot it now if you want to Mmm! Oh, this awful kitchen lighting. Right, Ross is just balling up our little cookies. Oh, fancy. There you go. So yeah, you just, you roll them into balls rather than put them in cookie shapes. And then when you bake them, they all go like gooey down and you literally cook them for like 10 minutes and they come out soft, but amazing. Cookie time, which you wanna see our creations. Look how good these look. Oh my God, they look amazing. Right, you know the rule. I've got to get myself a glass of milk before I can have cookies. How is it? They were really good. I'm gonna try mine. They are good, really good. And they're still slightly warm, aren't they? Good morning. So this morning, before I do anything, I am going to finally clean my makeup brushes. I said I was gonna do this like such a long time ago. So I just need to do it now. So we thought we'd decided which hotel and like everything we were gonna book and then turns out parking's like really expensive at LA hotels. It's gonna cost us like $220, which is like 150 pounds to park the hire car in the hotel we were looking at. And that just seemed like quite a lot. So I thought I would investigate Airbnb a little bit more and we found one that we really liked and it had um, secure parking and so we've emailed the guy to see if we can go and stay there in April. It's all very exciting. Um, it's like a apartment, it has like a pool and stuff and it is in West Hollywood. So walking distance to Hollywood and obviously the parking space that we can drive out to all the other places that we wanna to go to. Um, but if he accepts our booking, then it's done and I just need to book the flights, which is crazy. I'm very exciting, you excited? Yes. <laughs> One word answer. And we can go to Disney, and we can go to, where else are we gonna go? See the Hollywood sign? Go loads of places. Excitement. Anyway, I'm going out to meet the girls at Costa. This is becoming a bit of a theme. That's what it is, because the... Just got 
back home from Costa, guess what time it is? Like not dirty, Bake time! Sunday yeah. usual. Oh my god guys, look at what I have got today. Actually no, it came yesterday. I have to renew my driving licence, which shows that I'm getting old. <sighs> I've had my driving licence for 10 whole years. So I need to sign off, uh, send off for a new one of those. Although it does mean I can update my picture, because I'm pretty certain my picture doesn't really look like me anymore. So I need to, hopefully I've still got some, um, some of the pictures I used for my passport somewhere. I'm still waiting for our Airbnb to confirm. Um, I suppose the guy's obviously in LA. I don't know what the time is in LA at the moment. Um, but I will let you know how my experience with Airbnb goes. So far, I'm like finding it quite promising because first of all, I think it's good, like, it's literally so thorough. Like everyone who is a homeowner that puts their um, place up has to go through like so many checks as to people that go and stay there so I had to upload a little profile I actually put a link to my YouTube channel because I thought if somebody wants to know like what I'm like then this is a pretty good starting point and I had to write them a little email to say like a bit about us and what we why we're going there blah 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 and literally I had to get like a copy of my driving license and all sorts so yeah we will see how that goes Ross has chosen dinner tonight it's pasta bake he literally loves it he's obsessed we still have cookies left from yesterday. Oh my god, I swear. They were literally like the best batch we have ever made. I feel like this weekend's just gone way too quickly though. Like literally just flown by. I feel like it's still, I feel like I need another day. Anyway, I think that's kind of all the update I can give you for today. And it's gonna be a pretty boring Sunday evening now. I need to paint my nails. I am going to start editing the vlog. So I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. I hope I've recorded enough. I hope it was interesting. Literally, I keep getting to the end of the vlog and now being like, what have I recorded for this week's vlog? Anyway, I will soon find out. Um, next week, I am going to take my camera when I go to London, I think. I'm meeting a friend, uh, one of my uni friends, Carrie, for dinner. We're going to go to Burger and Lobster because I've got work in London one day next week. So I think I'm going to take the camera, actually, because actually it's quite a chilled day. I don't have to get up to London like super duper early, so... That'll be quite good. Um, may even snow next week, apparently. We will see. Ross will be in heaven if it does. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here for this week. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry it's not as long as last week, but it's always like that when I have weeks off. The vlog's are obviously going to be longer. Um, but, yeah, if you enjoyed this week, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with someone. I know what I was going to say. My dad has also started vlogging, so I am going to leave his YouTube channel in the links below. So if you want to go and check him out, um, he has a very different to mine because he drives trucks for a living and goes around the country. But the link will be below if you want to go and watch his YouTube channel. Let him know that I sent you over there. Leave him a comment. So yeah, that's it. Sorry, I've waffled on for ages. Like, subscribe. I will see you next week. Good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm wearing my new lipstick that I was talking about in last week's vlog. This is MAC Mare. I like it. And my new shirt as well. It's very soft and cosy comfy. We have a change of plans for today. We were supposed to be in Salisbury to meet our friends Joe and Nick. But they are now going to come to our house and they're bringing the dog. So we get to see their little chocolate cockapoo puppy. 